Okay, welcome again to Tech Unplugged Live at uh, NetApp Insight. I am uh, Enrico Signoretti and with me, uh, Kate Norby. Thank you. Hi, Kate. How Thank you, you for being here. And yeah, your business class is quite complicated. Senior manager, <laughs> BD, I think, business development. Yes. S SFO, what is this? The, yeah, the SFO the is the uh, <laughs> San Francisco airport, <laughs> right? So it, does it mean that you travel? It, it's, the, it's the office of CTO <laughs> for okay. Solid Fire. Uh, so within the Solid Fire business unit, we have Val Bercovici, our CTO, and there's a group of us that are in his, his group. So it's the, it's the off the CTO group for Solid Fire. I'm the loan business development manager guy in that. Um, so I help work with alliances that NetApp manages. Right. Uh, and bring that to life through the uh, business unit for Solid Fire and help you know, do some special projects. Okay, so someone a few minutes ago asking me to, um, to ask you something, uh, I don't know if I can hear, this is, we, we were <laughs> so official I up mean, to now, but, no, no, but, but you, 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 it's not hidden camera, because no, there's cameras the, here, you so. are the, <laughs> you are well known internally as the <laughs> Jerry Springer of NetApp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what does it mean. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, it, it was an inside joke, of course, by John Rawlson, the, the creator of most punchline jokes. Um, and in this case, it was because at the end of a meeting, I'll tend to recap the meeting and tell us what our next steps are to get us underway. And he, he thinks that's a Jerry Springer moment. <laughs> like, you know, okay. I'm, I'm recapping the episode and, and telling everyone what's coming next. Okay, uh, I won't do that again. Yeah, no, that's okay, that's okay, that's good. <laughs> so, yeah, you mentioned John. So John talked about uh, uh, next generation data center, <coughs> but he, he got it from the marketing point of view. So very... Uh, Doesn't mean much, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, if you can go deeper on it, what are you doing for this next generation data center initiative? So what, what does it mean for you, really? Yeah, it's, what, it's one of the projects that I'm working on with Val Bercovici, um, with some of the guys in the Barnacles group under Garrett Mueller, um, uh, several NFV experts that we have, uh, trying to b build both a bottoms up and tops down definition of what the next generation data center is, beyond just marketing. Because there certainly are consumption types, there's a consumption continuum uh, where you know, small businesses buy from a certain consumption type versus large hyperscalers. Um, but then there's also tons of technology uh, category definitions, mm -hmm. similar to what you probably see from VMware with Software Defined Data Center. Uh, so being a little more uh, multi-cloud and ubiquitous, uh, you have a, a service provider context called you know, Fuel by Solid Fire. Mm -hmm. That's something we've worked with. There's also you know, a cloud element where you probably have a defined by type of categorization where it's uh, you know like on tap select would be a definition of that where it would live in uh, some of the public clouds. Uh, some of those public clouds are also fueled by solid fire with our technology. But then when you think about the private cloud, the enterprise that wants to be like a service provider, uh, we, we want to help bring them definition, more definition about what it is to actually be a next generation data center. So some of those things are the emerging categories like containers and, and DevOps. Uh, seeing two, uh, emerging categories like NFV and how those come to life, uh, especially in the telcos where you see um, lots of key characteristics about what it takes to be successful with NFV. Mm -hmm. uh, and ironically, APIs drive a lot of that. So if you have a storage system that can be completely programmable and invisible to that, that's a high characterized uh, value for NFV. Um, you know, if you look at the, just the VMware realm and how we yeah. fit within a VMware realm, you know, the emerging real uh, kind of nickname is Zero Touch. And it's because um, gone are the days when we want to be waiting for other departments to provision or you know, be able to be in the way of, of the time cycles for IT. IT has to be as, as fast as the apps on your phone. And it has to just have ultimate agility to go and do for the business. Um, and you know, we want to bring those to life. We want to talk about those in, in technical specifics. So uh, the enthusiasts that are at here uh, at NetApp Insight as an example, or at OpenStack Summit, or VMworld, or uh, DockerCon, yeah. or whatever, that they understand how they can plug in and either consume or, or be part of that technology. Uh, contribute if you're a technology partner, you understand, like if we're going to have a partnership with an NFV partner, you know, we want to build as much definition and, and programmatic things for like an Ericsson, or a Nokia, or a Juniper to plug mm -hmm. in with us, and maybe pre-wire some of those API settings so it's easier for everyone to do, right? It's, it's yeah, we understand. want to get away from building the, 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 the car one, one part at a time and, and get it more programmatic. 
So, is, is this a, a sort of initiative that you are taking with uh, CIOs, CTOs, but also with uh, sysadmins and uh, other figures uh, in the um, in the organization, right? Yeah. So you have different messages for each one of them and uh, best practices, I think, also. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you really want to think about this. Um, you always want to begin with the, with the consumer in mind, uh, is the way, the way SolidFire has traditionally gone about this. <coughs> so if, you are, um, if you're a developer, you think a certain way, and you're going to want to understand things in that context. The operations folks to support the developers in a DevOps model will want to have as much uh, autonomous consumption of, of the next generation data center, and, and a CIO or a, or a business executive for IT will want to look at it from a uh, cost value perspective and so there are just, just different interpretation layers on how you have to channel you know how you're going to uh, meet the needs of, of each of those consumers because at the end of the day that's what it's about mm -hmm. trying to get more definition and simplicity and, and pre-wiring to the next generation data center I think personally is one of the most important steps we could take forward together not just NetApp but the ecosystem yeah right all of us together and and even folks that don't work in the ecosystem that are just technologists that's great. So, how can we continue the discussion with you? Do you have a Twitter handle uh, yeah. where we can contact you? There's several ways. Um, uh, we have a lot of stuff on uh, netapp.io, mm -hmm. uh, which is the pub. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Keith Norby, uh, spelled K-E-I-T-H-N-O-R-B-I-E, B as in boy. Um, there's also several blogs on solidfire.com. You'll, you'll see a very, uh, very much an emerging set of content and, and information pieces that we have on the next generation data center uh, coming through solidfire.com and, uh, and it's a great way for us to be able to have that as a way of, of, of promoting thought leadership in that space and really bringing it back to both uh, NetApp and, and other technology ecosystem partners uh, to really help people get the information and participate. Great, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.